Hello, I am Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today we're going to do a quick video on how to pick your faction and what to do shortly at, uh, right after you pick your faction. So a couple things have been updated since the last time we did this video, so I figured to go over it. A lot of people are uh, new to the game, um, and like I said, there's a couple things with the last uh, time I updated the how to pick your faction video that's changed. So I just wanted to go over those quick changes just so, to alleviate some of the confusion. Um, and like I said, it will just be a quick video on how to pick your faction. We'll give a little information about the sub factions, about the faction reworks that are happening in 2020, um, and a couple of things. And like I said, we'll go over the, like how to build in your faction, how to where to find your faction feats and stuff like that. So just very basics. We'll go through it as quick as possible. But uh, some of this is going to be very, very introductory to the Age of Calamitous mod for Conan Exiles. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you make your brand new character. You're not going to spawn in with awesome looking armor and weapons like I have right now, but you are going to spawn in uh, basically naked or clothed in bandages, depending on your uh, settings. Uh, however, you are going to spawn in the same area. So right down here at the bottom, I'm over here at the Broken Highway. Now, the first thing to make note of is the Broken Highway, Broken Highway, and as you can see, there are multiple Broken Highways. They're all pretty much about the same. Uh, they just meander a little different, but they all meander north to this big, long river and stuff like that. Uh, there's a couple things to pick up along the ways and stuff like that. It's all vanilla stuff. Um, some runes you can go up to and talk to and stuff like that. Uh, there's little scrolls on the ground. There's usually somewhere right in the beginning. There's going to be a uh, water skin that you want to pick up, give you a little water, gives you a little more time to get to the um River and stuff like that. These are sometimes on the left, the right. Sometimes they're way up there. It depends which broken highway you're on. Um, but they're roughly all about the same. Either way, though, uh, the first thing you want to do is make your way up. I'm not going to go over some of the tips as far as, like, clothing yourself first, making your weapons, what feats to pick there. This is mainly just going to go over how to pick your faction, where to find it, all that stuff, and some of the other stuff uh, that has to do with uh, early faction gameplay. So the main goal is... You're going to want to make it just follow the path. And as you can see, I'm speeding up the gameplay a little bit because this is an actual pretty decent run. Um, you can spawn in at any of those broken highways at random. So just make note of which one you're at. But like I said, they all follow the same path. If you die and you don't have a bedroll down, you're going to spawn in at one of those random. You, you may not respond in the one you originally spawned in at. But as you can see... We're here now north of the river, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to make your way all the way west to the end of the river. And you can, you know, get some trees, get some fiber, get rocks, drink some water. Uh, you can fight some of these creatures. Now, if you stay in the south side of the river, the south side of the river is uh, basically balanced for level 5 or lower. So most of the creatures, as long as you craft a weapon, you should be able to fight most of the stuff, if not all of it, with little to no trouble. Um... So that's where you can gain a couple levels. What I usually say is by the time you make it here to the end of the river, as you can see, we're over here now, you're going to see a faction camp. Now, what a lot, of, a lot of people do is they'll build like a base, a little, little base out there, get some mats. They'll get, they'll build like a armor station, get some armor on, get a decent weapon, uh, and then fight their way through this camp. If you're below level 10, and especially if you're using like a stone weapon, you don't have any heals. This camp can be a little bit more difficult, not impossible, but it's definitely a little bit more difficult. So I would suggest um, doing my little trick here, unless you want to fight your, fight your way through it. And basically what we do is we climb up this. You just follow it around. And basically once you get here, jump down you basically bypass the entire camp now you can do this one of two ways you really don't have to climb up here you can kind of just wrap around this but you can now there's two guards right here and they're pretty beefed so just make sure as soon as you run in you just run past them they'll they'll chase you uh they may even hit you once especially the one with the bone arrow so you can but you're only gonna take one hit it's not gonna kill you or anything like that but the main goal is to find this portal and go through it Okay, so when you go through the portal, you are at you will be at the Age of Calamitous Faction Hall. You do not have the Age of Calamitous mod for Conan Exiles. You will not have this ability, so this video is pretty much irrelevant. Um, but this is actually one of the really the one of the coolest features that's been around the longest in Age of Calamitous. The Faction Hall wasn't always here, but the choices to choose factions uh, that give you unique things has been since the beginning of Age of Calamitous. Um, the hall was an addition later on. 
uh, which was a really cool way of showcasing a little bit. Basically, you come into the faction hall. There's no enemies in here. You can't be killed, or you can be killed. You can die in here, but um, there's no enemies in here that will kill you or anything like that. So don't worry about that. It's just a really, really cool, safe area. So what there is, is there is a room for each of the factions. You have the Alliance of Stormhold, Order of Felgarth, Elven Covenant, uh, Order of Elvenor, uh, the Vangul. I don't know if they actually have a longer name. of like the Vangul Alliance or whatever. The Vangul and the Cold Embrace. So, over the over 2020, these factions are being reworked. Uh, so far, the first faction was Cold Embrace. Uh, that was in February, I believe, of 2020. Uh, Felgarth was the one that most recently happened at the time of recording this video, uh, which was April, at the end of April of 2020. So, we'll see which faction's next. Uh, leave in the comment section below which faction you hope is next. Um, I have an idea which one may it be, but I'm not sure, so I, I have a, a guess. But either way... Uh, definitely leave in the comment section because I'm curious to see what people really want to have worked on next. Either way, though, let's see. So we have each of the rooms. If you go into the rooms, you can get a feel for what the factions have. Now, there's two types of rooms right now. So this is a room that of a faction that has not yet been reworked uh, in 2020. And they're pretty similar with a couple minor differences. So let's take a look real quick. So you get your Tier 1 building, and that's the same no matter what. Uh, then your tier three building, yes, tier three building, um, and then they put a tier four floor in there just to show you what a little bit is. You have some armor. Now, if the the faction has not been reworked, you have your end game armor, you have your your starter armor, and then some weapons. And as you see, that wall is blank. You also come over here, and you have a miniaturization of. Some of the builds and stuff like that that you'll get for this faction. And this is who you're going to talk to to pick your faction. Now, let's go to a room that has been reworked. The Cold Embrace has been reworked. Just to show you the difference. So, same thing. Build Tier 1, Tier 3, with a Tier 4 build tile in there. However, instead of the endgame armor and the starter armor and some weapons, you have the sub-faction. So, if the faction has been reworked... Let's bring a little light to it. Uh, if the faction has been reworked... Uh, there'll be a banner for each of the sub-factions, so it gives you a little hint at what you can get endgame for the Cold Embrace, or whatever faction room you're in. Uh, so this is the Sanguis unit, this is the Empress Knights, and then you can see the unique weapons to each of the two, the, well, their elite weapons unique to each of those sub-factions, and then some of their mixed stuff. And then also over here, you'll see a portal, which will take you to their Sanctuary, um... And that's where you would get your sub-faction quest. There are a couple things in there. If it's a magical faction, uh, there's a couple things to get in there. If it's not a magical faction, there'll be a couple things in there. So you definitely want to check it out. You can't enter this portal until you pick your faction, and it has to be that. So you can't go into this portal until you pick Cold Embrace. You can't go into the Felgarth one until you choose Felg Felgarth, you, so forth and so forth. Okay, so we'll just take a look around real quick. Uh, we'll go into the Felgarth room, as you can see. It's also been reworked, so sub-faction, sub-faction, the Holy Syndicate, st the House Stormcaller, and there's their portal. And then the rest of the factions have not been reworked yet, so they're going to be like the first room, the Stormhold room. Again, we'll just take a look around. You can see some decorations in these rooms too, so these statues and stuff. Sometimes Some of the rooms have some other things. These guards, this is like some of the armor you can get. This is actually a decoration also. Um, we'll go into... Elvenor, again, building non-reworked faction so far, so. And if you really want an in-depth look at these, I do have a showcase video for each of these factions. They, Some of them are old. The showcase videos are the first I did on the uh, channel. They were the first sets of videos. That's actually what kind of brought the channel to life uh, and made it what it is today. So be a little delicate on me. The videos are old. They were my first go at like editing and recording and stuff like that, so... Eh. But the good thing is, is even though the fa a lot of stuff has changed, the videos are still pretty relevant. The mats to make the items aren't really what they are, what they were. The stats and some of the things are a little uh, off. But if you just want to get a look at what you're looking at, and maybe uh, all the items in those videos are still in the factions, uh, and if they had any special abilities or anything like that, that is the same. There might be things added to them. At, at most, if the fa if the faction is uh, outdated, the video. Uh, it's just missing newer things that were added after the fact, but it, 
all the stuff that's in there, the, what the buildings look like, what the decorations look like and stuff like that. All that's the same. Maybe some of the decorations were given a little bit of adjustments to make them look cooler. Uh, but for the most part, everything in that those videos are pretty good to go. So it'll give you a good feel of what the uh, factions are. Definitely check out those videos. This is the Elven Covenant room, as you can see. Pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the newest sub uh, newest faction. You're going to go up to the ghost. You're going to talk to it. Now, if you're on a single player server, the second you hit yes, it's going to teach you it. Uh, if you are on a, an online server, when you hit yes, you'll be given a token. You'll get an item in your backpack. And it's gonna it's gonna look like this symbol. Whatever the symbol of the faction you uh, you talk to, you'll get a token. Now the cool thing is on the multiplayer servers, you can actually get a token for all six of the factions. You can only use one though. What you'll do is you'll click on it. You'll look for the eagle if you want Felgarth. You'll click on it and you hit the use button. Um, I'm on a single player server for the sake of recording the video, but like I said, you'll just use the token, and then the rest of them you'll just dump on the ground because uh, you can only choose one faction. Once you choose one, if you try to use one of the other tokens, it's just going to say you already have a faction. Now, there are ways for single player or not multiplayer servers to give you multiple factions. There's quests they can make. Um, there's items they can give you, loyalty rewards and stuff like that. It's not built into the game. It's something that admin would have to do. So some servers let you choose multi uh, game multiple factions. Some people, some servers do it as a loyalty road. Some servers only let you choose one. Uh, but the core of the game, uh, the way the game is unmodified, or, well, the mod is unmodified, is you can only choose one faction. The only way you can change that faction is by re recreating your character back to level zero and starting from scratch. So just make note of that. Your choice is a permanent one. You can't get rid of it. You can't change it. You can't trade it in. And on most, or a lot of servers, I would say you you probably, it's the only one they're going to let you have. So just make note of that. Make the choice wisely. But it, it does give a little replayability to the... Game. Once you choose the token, though, if it has a rework and there's a portal, now I'll be able to go through it. And this is the Felgar sub-faction hall. Uh, all the sub-faction, or not sub-faction hall, the, the Felgar sanctuary. Um, so all of them are going to be unique to what the faction is. The Cold Embrace one looks way different. It's a lot darker. Um, but it's really, really cool. The cool thing is if you go into the rooms, you know, they have some rooms and stuff. Here's where you choose the sub-faction. And we actually have a video with the sub-factions on how to uh, get the... Um, Felgar sub faction, uh, finish their quest line, stuff like that. Uh, if depending on when this video is dropping and what order I decide to do stuff in, uh, there may be a showcase video for the Felgar sub faction. If not, it will be coming soon. So hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when that drops. Uh, there are, I do already have videos for the Cold Embrace sub faction. So you can check out one video for each of the, the Sanguis unit and the Knights of the Empress. So definitely check that out. You can see what what more of the stuff that um, the Cold Embrace has to offer once you get farther in it. Uh, stuff auctions are locked behind level 80, so you won't be able to choose that until you're that level. Okay, so once you choose your faction and you left the faction hall, you can go anywhere in the game you want to go. And you, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to build. in the. You're going to want to build a base in your faction's style. So what you're going to do is feats. If you're Age of Calamitous, the first thing you're going to have to make sure you do is you're going to have to learn this feat right here, Art of the Craft. That gives you the construction platform. Okay, so first thing, you, I will, after you choose that feat, you're going to want to go to right here, your construction platform. You'll want to craft one, and you want to place it. There you go. So now we're going to go into it. Hey, it's blank. Why don't I have any recipes? What's going on? So this is a very common question. It's a very easy one to miss. You A lot of times you can create the crafting stations, and this is the same with a lot of other crafting stations too, but if you don't know the feat that gives you the recipes, you won't have anything in there, or you'll be missing things because there are some crafting stations that like there's multiple feats to unlock more and more and more inside them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, or not first thing, this is like the eighth thing. I don't want to keep saying the first thing. Either way, you're going to go to your religion tab. That's where you're going to find your faction. So right here, when you pick your faction, you get this first one unlocked. And this gives you a bunch of decorations, some storage, uh, a light source, your wheel of pain, contractors, more decorations. These orbs are awesome. Uh, we actually have a video that we already dropped uh, recently that goes over these orbs. You're definitely, if you pick one of the magical factions, uh, Elvenor, Felgarth, or Cold Embrace, you're definitely going to want to check out these orbs. 
um, more decorations and stuff like that. So you get a bunch of really cool stuff right off the bat. And it tells you right here where it's crafted, woodworking bench. Uh, let's see, let's go up a little bit. Dispatch contractor, crafting. And if it's a crafting station, that means it's a station that you can interact with and do something with. This is uh, the Felgar Wheel of Pain. These are really cool. Every faction has a unique one. Either way, though, what you're looking for is this one right here, your villager. So every faction, it's their first coin. The coins are their building types, as you can unlock at different levels. If you don't learn this, you won't be able to build. So Felgarth can build oak. Every faction, again, has a unique one. There are a couple overlaps with a couple of them, but you want to learn it. You can learn it at level 5. And then you'll also be able to learn at level 10 their, their gear, which is going to be the starter armor, which you get when you pick the faction, uh, and their weapons and stuff like that. So you can repair them, basically. And just to see... Uh, when we picked our faction, it actually gave us the starter armor and the starter weapons. And then if it's a magical faction, you got the uh, first uh, tome for the fire element, which is something you need for um, fire magic. Now, the this might be changed. Magic's being reworked all the time. So a lot of things are kind of still moving around and changing and balancing and stuff like that. So this, we'll see. But... The armors and weapons you'll get. So it's kind of cool because right off the bat at level 5, or right off the bat as soon as you learn your faction, you can actually walk out of the faction hall geared in your faction's gear and with some weapons, which gives you a nice jump, uh, especially if you you pick your faction at like level like 3 or something. You, you get, It's a really nice jump. You walk, walk outside that faction, you're going to have decent armor um, and decent weapons that are going to actually make make quick work of all those thralls outside of the camp. But either way, we learn the feat. Now, as you can see, we have all our stuff, right? We can build our stuff. So what we're going to do is we we'll put. Now, the mats of these are always changing. Uh, they, in the previous video, there used to be specific types of wood. You actually used to have to make wood into oak wood in, the, in, a, in a, the enchanting table. And then you put it in here. All the buildings now take vanilla mats. So there's no more. The enchanting table has gone. Well, it's still there, but it doesn't have a use. It'll probably eventually just be removed or repurposed. Um, but you just use vanilla materials, which is kind of cool now. It does take a good amount of wood, as you can see. And twine's kind of a pain in the butt early game. But sandstone takes wood and stone. So you take away the stone. You add the, the amount of grinding into the wood. It's a little bit more grindy. But and you just click it and hit craft just like any other station. It's a little bit more grindy, but there's a reason for that. So let's just place down the oak. This is the one. That you'll get to make. Now, this is sandstone. This is your tier one vanilla. I always tell people, pick your faction. Do not build in sandstone. A, the grind is roughly about the same. It may be a little bit more for this, but these are both tier ones, right? So they're essentially the same. First of all, I don't care what faction you pick. The tier one wood looks way better than the sandstone. The sandstone's a gross orange and it's disgusting. But a lot of people do it to build their basin first. Um, just to get an idea of what they want to build and they upgrade later. You can upgrade this to Age of Calamitous, but it's glitchy sometimes and it's a pain. And like I said, this is ugly. Uh, and the grind for the mats is roughly about the same. No reason to double grind. The other thing is you get more XP usually for crafting Age of Calamitous buildings than you do crafting vanilla. And the last thing is the foundation, 10,000 HP for a tier one foundation. 20,000 HP for a tier one Age of Calamitous. So what that tells you is if you're trying to build your first base, uh, level, you're know, level 10, you're trying to build a first base and in an area and you're on a server that ha is, has PVP or it's a server that uh, has purge, you're going to be a lot more protected with your tier one Age of Calamitous. We'll look at the walls, 7,000 versus 10,000. So you're obviously going to want to build in Age of Calamitous versus the crappy sandstone also these are a lot more optimized you're going to get a lot more server lag using sandstone especially sandstone over any other tier uh in the vanilla um and if you're on a potato pc you're going to see a lot less lag on your own pc if you build in this so the last thing we'll go over real quick is just a couple things so we have the art of the craft this is where you're going to get a lot of your crafting stations and there are a lot of crossovers. So there's a furnace for Age of Calamitous. There's a, there's a blacksmith bench, a uh, woodworking bench, an armor station, all for Age of Calamitous. As you go down, you have your alchemy desk, which is kind of like your fireball cauldron. And that's where you get all your recipes for things. Um, 
one question I get asked a lot is, hey, where's the arcane essence now? If you if you still learn it in the apothecary feat, but it says it's crafted at the study of ancient arts. So in each of the magical factions rooms uh, or in their actual sanctuaries, you'll find a Grand Magus in there. They'll teach you ancient arts feat. It's free. And then you can be able to craft this bench. It's handcrafted. Uh, but you need to still learn this feat in order to have that recipe. Um, and then basically everything in Art of the Craft is Age of Calamitous. So these are all Age of Calamitous specific recipes and stations that you'll need throughout the game, as well with the vanilla ones that you'll typically use, the blacksmith and all that stuff. Um, this one, the currency exchange, is also an Age of Calamitous specific one. So this is where you're going to find some of your coin traders, a bunch of your merchants, and what your merchants sell. Things like that. So just as you level up, you might want to pick these appropriately. I'd probably say you're going to spend time on these first and then these vanilla ones here and here. That's going to kind of be your bread and butter. Uh, the box maker and the thrall taker ones also. You also, as you level up, you're going to want to make sure the second you get level 20, you unlock this so you can build, you can upgrade your wood to slate brick foundations and so forth, so forth. Also, you can, if the faction has been reworked, you can now take your starter armor and you can upgrade it to higher tier armor, which gives a lot more armor, durability, stuff like that. If it's a weapon, it increases the damage significantly. So now these starter armors aren't just starter. They're actually, you can play them all the way through the game until you get to the your sub-faction level where you would trade them in for sub-faction gear. The last thing you're going to look at is once you hit level 70, you're no longer going to be using the vanilla picks and axes and skinning knives and all that stuff. You're going to want to trade this in for the Age of Calamitous. So between level 70 and level 110, that's where you're going to start upgrading your picks and stuff. Um, you'll want to do these as you have the materials, as you level up. Uh, I don't always get them all. Sometimes I do. It really, really depends. But either way... The, there's always one for a pick and an axe and a cleaver and some weapons and stuff like that. And then the next one is where you find your pickaxe and your skinny knife and your scythe and then the repair kits. And there's there's two for each. So you have your Eviarium, your Crescent, your Virion, and your Crinixium. So these give significant amount more mats than you would get in the with the vanilla, even the legendary ones. So just make note of that. Also, this is all where you're in here. Where is it? There it is. Art of War is where you'll find your last merchant. A lot of people ask where the weapon merchant is. It's in here, and this is where all the recipes are for the merchant to buy the weapons, as with the weapon that's on my back. Uh, I think it's Devil Furies. This is a weapon you can buy in, in the weapons merchant once you hit that level. So it's a pretty cool sword. Okay, so that's going over the Age of Calamus factions, how to pick it, where to find it, um, where to go through, you know, uh, the little details on them, and how to build some of the feats that you're going to want to pick right off the bat, stuff like that. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, like I said, we'll have uh, more in-depth videos on uh, showcasing the factions, the sub-factions, the quests. Uh, we have a lot of videos coming out with the newest update, and we have a bunch of videos that are still relevant. Uh you know, like I said, there may be a little lot of data. There might be a couple things that are not 100% accurate, like what recipe or what maths they take to make. But the core items and the, or the, some of the core information is still valid. So check those videos out until I make updated ones of those. They'll definitely help. Otherwise, just, uh, you know, if you like the video, you want to be notified when the next one is, hit that sub button. It helps with the channel immensely. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up. helps the channel out immensely. Also, feel free to leave a comment, question, concern, anything like that in the comment section below. I do read them eventually. Uh, it takes me a little time sometimes. Like sometimes I can go a couple days or a week uh, between comments if I'm working on some big Age of Claimless project as I was with this newest update. Uh, but once I get rolling, I, uh, I get to everybody as soon as possible, sometimes really quick. But either way, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Also, what faction uh, you are thinking about picking which faction you typically pick. I'm always interested to see what people pick. I, I see a lot of people uh, choose specific factions at specific times, but then when, uh, as with when the Cold Embrace was dropped, reworked, I saw a change in that. Uh, so I'm curious now that the Felgarth was reworked, if there's even more of a skew in a certain direction uh, than there was before. So we'll see how many people are interested in the uh, Felgarth update or really like what the uh, Felgarth update has done, if you've actually messed around with it so far. 
Um, otherwise, I want to give a huge shout out to our Patreons and our elite Patreons. Thank you so much for everything y'all do. If you're interested in being one of the Patreons, definitely check out the link below. Uh, we have exclusive videos, time videos, uh, tips and teasers that come out to our Patreon crew. Also an exclusive Discord room. So definitely uh, check that out. Link is in the description below. We stream on Twitch. Check the link out. Uh, otherwise, I want to say thank you to everyone. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, fear the reckoning.